Hi everyone, Sam here again. Um, just following up on my first video uh, where I was talking about the Promar Torchlight controller. I have now set it up. Mind you, I know everyone's had a lot of problems with them. I did too, no exception. Um, I've solved the problems. It now works. So what I want to do is show you it actually cutting first. Um, and then we'll, I'll take you through the process of how I've got it going. As you can see, as you look at that bit of metal, it's actually bent up. I bent it up on purpose so that it would, it would have to travel up. So I'll start this going and you can watch what it does. So now we're zooming down to find the plate surface. As you can see the plate moved there. You can see here I have bent up, bent down, and my see it's moved up to plus 12 mil already because that was the bend in the plate. I'm quite happy with that now. It works, it works quite well. Um, so now I'll take you through the process of how I've set it up. Okay, here we are around the back of my machine. As you can see down here, this is the Promar Torchite Control Unit. I've mounted it as conveniently as I could think. Here I have my divided voltage coming into the, into the unit. Power supply to the unit. This is powering the actual unit, which I can turn on and off in software. This other cable here, as you can see, runs underneath and into the plasma. That's actually just my switch, my trigger, to turn it on and off. This black cable, that's my logic line. So that's, that's the torch up, torch down, and torch OK signal coming in, into my, into my unit. If you look up here now, up in, up in the control box here, this is my controller setup. Here are all my inputs. These inputs here, this, these three here, I have torch on or, or torch OK signal in, torch down signal, torch up signal. They fit into my controller through here. Um, I'll explain about my controller another day, but it's another story. Um, come back around and look at my software. Okay, so now we're back around the front of the machine. This is my software screen. Now this is Mac 3, but I've customised the screen myself. Don't get too put off by it. It's just how I like to see it. You can modify yours too if you want. Uh, I just use Mac screens to do it. It's not that hard. But what I've done is I've put everything on this screen that, that is important to me. Here you can see in this red box, that's all my plasma torchlight settings. Um, I can turn my torch on and off. I can turn Mac torchlight control on and off and I can reset the zero in torchlight control anti-drive on and off that stops the torch from diving into gaps and holes um, I set that at 25% setting so you know it, it'll it'll allow a little bit of play it'll jump over them arc ok LED Z up LED Z down LED you might have seen these two this would have been on when it was cutting these two would have been going off and on depending on where it wanted the torch to go and each if that was going up this was coming up here if the other one was saying down it was coming down my Z correction that's my correction how much it's correcting by so that that will say it'll be could be two mil could be one mil whatever speed I found correction speed can't go above five percent if you go above five percent the torch will start to jump around it won't move smoothly and then THC max and THC minimum that's the maximum height you want the torch to move above the Z, uh, Z0 and the minimum it can go, and the maximum rather can go below zero. So maximum is above zero plus 25 millimetres and the minimum it can go under zero is 25 millimetres. Minus 25 millimetres I should say. I find those settings to work pretty good. Other than that, let's pause it. The most important thing I found, and the biggest problem I had, why it would not work, was nothing to do with Mac here, nothing to do with Mac at all. Mac was doing everything right. I was getting these coming on and off, but no movement here. Mac was ignoring it. What I found was, you have to go into plug-in control. Now, I have an Ethernet controller. So, you go into plug-in control, and I'm running this, this ESS version 10 HD2 Ethernet IP setup. You've got to go in to the configuration control of this. Now in here, I mean, it looks all quite normal. But then I spotted this little, little, little 
snip it down here and all it says is THC mode with a checkbox. This is only in the latest version by the way, it wasn't in the previous versions. I checked it and everything works. So I know it was frustrating, it was frustrating for me, it took me quite a while to find it. I know I really just stumbled across it because I was actually playing with Mac 4 when I stumbled across it in Mac 4 and I thought, oh geez, I wonder if that's the same in the one in Mac 3. Went into the Mac 3 configuration file, sure enough there it was. Ticked it and it started working. So, I mean I had many weeks of frustration but now I'm a happy man. Well that's all I've got. I think if there's any other questions you want to know, just leave, leave the comments. Um, I'll try and answer them. Uh, I'm going to do more regular videos. I know I've been a bit slack. I will do more regular videos. Uh, if you like me, give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Join my channel. Whatever. See you next time.